So I recently just made a trail renderer script. You can see it here um, that you can add to an immediate geometry node and it's available now on the Godot Next repository. There's a link in the description. I'm just gonna go over how to use it here. So uh, you'll see here there's a few variables you can set. Length is pretty obvious. That'll be the length of the trail. Max radius determines the largest point of the trail, which is gonna be right at the front always. And then Density lengthwise and density around determine how many polygons it uses basically. So like if I set this to three, you'll be able to see there are three points in it about. And then if I set it higher, like let's say six, you can see there are six points in the trail. And then there is uh, density around is how many, uh, I guess, sides there will be on it so you can see from the front there's three sides there's um, so it has like a triangular shape and then you can change it how you want if you want more detail make it more round so this has eight sides now it's an octagonal shape and then there is shape which if you imagine it um, moving to the left like this and the bottom half this determines the shape of it, like the bottom half of the shape. So if I right click on it, I could do zero. That'll make it constant through, see there. And then if I right click, make it linear, you can see it's it just decreases linearly in the radius as it goes towards the back. And then I can get some other shapes like out there. It'll curve down really sharply. Um, and that'll slowly decrease in size. And then you can also, after you select something, you can like drag it, um, click, just click and drag to get different shapes. So you can get some weird turn up thing or something there. So yeah, um, that's it. That's a tra trail renderer for Godot. Check it out and use it.